It's always terrific to be able to leave that Washington swamp. The truth is, people love us. We're thinking about building the wall as a solar wall, so it creates energy and pays for itself. Pretty good imagination, right? Good. My idea. We're also working night and day to restore law and order to our country. Look at Chicago. What the hell is going on in Chicago? What's that all about? So somebody said, why did you appoint a rich person to be in charge of the economy? I said, because that's the kind of thinking we want. And I love all people, rich or poor. But in those particular positions, I just don't want a poor person. Does that make sense? They have phony witch hunts going against me. They have everything going. And you know what? All we do is win, win, win. All he does is win, win, win. Um, uh, Megan, why can't the Democrats figure out how to beat that guy? Well, full disclosure, I'm from Chicago. So, okay, right? so you got hit. You got hit. Look, he, that is one strategy for the Democrats. If they, but if they solely rely on resist, if they do not form their own message, particularly on jobs, on the economy, mm -hmm. on health care, if they cannot present to people a positive option for why you should vote for us and not why you should just vote yes. against him, they are not going to make gains in these swing states. They're not going to make gains in places where they need to bring over white women voters, where they need to bring over people who are concerned about their future, concerned about their jobs, concerned about their kids' college future. That is what is animating so much of the discussion. People are terrified about disruption. They're terrified about their future. They're terrified about ISIS. The Democrats, day after day after day, fail to produce a credible message going forward. You know this as well as I, I agree. Do. This is their biggest weakness. You can rely on that for a lot. You're not going to get over Well, Bill and I are in um, therapy. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, because we were for maybe 16 Republicans who tried to defeat that man. And he's not to be underestimated, right? Yeah, and Hillary Clinton tried to defeat him, and I thought she would, by disqualifying him. And she did not have much of a positive message. And they tested it. They thought, well, she, they, she can't be a message of new solutions. She's been around for a long time, but she's stable. She's solid. Uh, she may have been, but she lost. And I, I would be worried if I were a Democrat. I just think they need something to say to the voters. What, what is their tax plan to do on income inequality? What, how are they going to improve Obamacare a little bit? And I think Nancy Pelosi, I respect her. She was a very effective speaker. I do, too. Speaker, I think it's, it's an but unfair I, I just, It may be unfair, but I do think that some of the de polling suggests She's a little more of a problem for the Democrats to have a going forward positive message than I would have thought. But Yeah, well, look, I, I, I agree with you a lot there. And we cannot just run against Trump. People already know he's a bad guy. They know he says... 40% of them like in, him. ...in politic things. But what more can you say about him? Right. And I think if we let ourselves Absolutely. be consumed by this Trump derangement syndrome, we will forget to connect with people. And going right back to what you're saying is we need to start regaining the mantle of being the party, the people, the, pe the party that believes that government can improve people's lives and really connect it down to, okay, well, this is what automation is doing to you. This is how we're going to fix it. This is how we can make health care better for you. This is how we can, you know, on issue after issue. And I feel like sometimes we are not doing that because we're focused so much on attacking Donald Trump. Do you think they have the discipline to do that? I mean, it's now been election after election, not just at the national level, but in state houses, in legislatures, in local. I mean, what is it going to take for Democrats to sort of get their act together? Delaware, Connecticut, Illinois, there have been local special elections where Democrats have had a message, apparently well, on local issues. Delaware and issue. Connecticut, well, I mean, but, 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 but the fact is, but, 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 but these, but these, but these, but the idea, the idea, the idea, the idea is that, is that, 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 I am, I am not right. against Democrats right. taking back the House right. and having so, but uh, help us help you. You cannot point to Delaware <laughs> and Connecticut. No, no, I, but, but what, I, what I think is this. I think in the grand scheme of things, I actually think that focusing on Trump right now is almost a waste of time. Look, yeah. the guy's not yeah. running for president again until 2020. Mm -hmm. You have to focus on local issues. You have to focus on local elections. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure he is still popular with 70% of Republicans, right? I mean, it's a drop, right. but he's still popular with a lot of Republicans. Mm -hmm. This notion, I have to disagree with you here because this is what you saw in Georgia. This is what you saw in South Carolina. Carolina. 
Democrats need to stop this idea. We're going to convince middle class Republican white women to suddenly flip and it, look. If they voted for the guy who said I grabbed women last year, they're not going to switch now. They voted the against the woman but, that but, they but, didn't have any positive but measures. They they didn't, that was their they choice. They didn't like her. No one's liked her for 20 years. <laughs> the issue is this: the Democrats. Elections work a lot better when you actually target your own base instead of always trying to go after the other guy's stuff. If Democrats spent more Dance time the one on wrong, yeah. Yeah, exactly, if they spent more time on voter suppression, if they spent more time getting out single women, minority. African Americans and Latinos, they do a lot better than chasing after soccer moms. They're not going to win soccer moms. They never have. And do you well, think? they occasionally do. But I would also say this. I mean, people. look, there's an investigation. I think Robert Mueller will report in mid 2018, probably. It's not going to yes. go longer than a year. <laughs> so we will know. He will either be, there will be a referral to the House for impeachment or there won't be. The Democrats can't run on impeachment if Mueller says nothing impeachable happened. If something impeachable has happened, then we're in a whole different world where the Republican members have a horrible cross pressure. So in a way, yeah, I you totally really agree. Think I totally well, so really? I totally agree with you just uh, that, I mean, the, the Trump thing's pointless to talk yeah, about yeah. this. But what's going to happen is going to happen. Right. And, but if I were there in the House, I would be working a little bit on a positive message on taxes, mm -hmm. health care, you know, income inequality, whatever. All right, you heard it here first. Democrats getting political advice from Bill. <laughs> <laughs> they, should, they should not take it since the Republicans have taken it in the past. <laughs> Let's be honest. haven't done so great. That there hasn't been more, dis there haven't been more um, showcasing moments where Democrats and Republicans agree. I mean, I think this vote on Russia sanctions where 98 mm -hmm. uh, senators from both parties agreed on Russia. I mean, I think that the opportunity Trump presents is there's a whole lot of right. ways where he's outside the yeah. norms and Democrats seem too mad about it to, to hold hands with Republicans. But honestly, I wouldn't just put it on Democrats here because I remember he gave a very gracious concession. Spe uh, sorry. Victory speech. God, I wish it had been a concession speech. But, um, and Democrats did signal we are willing to work with him. We'll try to find middle ground with you. Like Claire McCaskill, oh, Joe Scott Manchin. Oh, Schumer's on the Today but, Show right, the after saying right. no. Right. And say, and they, no. But they were, no, the, look at the moderate, moderate uh, Democrats. They were saying that, and he poisoned the well very early on and made it very hard for Democrats all right, to All right, lots of poison all around. Thank you to my panel, Bill Crystal, Liz Smith, Megan Murphy, and Jason Johnson. That does it.